Hey guys, Martin here from Mattress Clarity. If you're looking for a comforter, it can actually be kind of difficult because really they look quite similar. A lot of them look exactly the same. You'll see the ones I'm looking at today on the surface look very, very similar, but you gotta look more closely if you wanna pick the right comforter for you. I'm gonna go through the certain criteria you should look for when you're looking for a comforter. I'm gonna give my four top picks for comforters as well. Let's get started. Okay, before we get started, if you need a personal recommendation, you have a specific question for me, leave a comment below. Also, if you're looking for a mattress, accessories, or pillows, definitely hit that subscribe button. All right, there's certain criteria you definitely wanna think about when you're looking for a comforter. First, is it down or down alternative? Definitely some pros and cons to each. All right, first, with down, the pros. Less weight for more warmth. Also, more breathable. You're gonna have some more airflow throughout your comforter. And off of that as well, some more natural loft. It'll be fluffier. However, it is more expensive in general and you might have some problems with allergies as well. Okay, moving to down alternative. Some of the pros. First, machine washable. You can actually wash most of these at home. Second, hypoallergenic for most of these. You're gonna have polyester filling, which is gonna allow for less dust mites and allergens to be trapped in the comforter. Off of that, it's also gonna be a cheaper option. However, you might have more of a clammy experience with these comforters because it's less airflow. Also, you're gonna need more weight of that filling to reach the same warmth you got on a down comforter. Now, there are some other things you should consider when you're looking for a comforter. First, is this going to be a seasonal comforter in terms of like a warmer comfort of the winter, a cooler comfort of the summer, or more of an all season comforter to use all year? Also, is it gonna be sewn through or baffle box construction? Is it gonna be kind of a square there with the sewn through or more of a cube, which allows for more loft with the baffle box? Finally, if you're using a down alternative comforter especially, how durable is it? Is it something you can wash over and over again or is it something that's gonna kind of fray over time? That being said, let's dive into my top picks for comforters. I will note they're in no particular order. All right, first, we have the Linen Spa Down Alternative Comforter. This is gonna be my best value pick on this list. It's definitely the most affordable at under $30. It's really good for a down alternative comforter. What I like about this is it has a really soft outer shell, but also has eight tabs that you can actually link up inside of a duvet cover to make sure it doesn't shift around too much. Really, really awesome feature on this comforter. Also, it's gonna be actually a lighter weight, a medium weight comforter there, so it should be good for year-round use. It's also gonna be a hypoallergenic comforter. So like with down alternative, you're gonna have less chances of having problems with allergies, but definitely a really affordable pick, something that could work for a lot of different types of sleepers. All right, moving on. If you're a hot sleeper, I think you're really gonna like the natural comfort down alternative comforter. Now this is really, really nice because it's gonna be a lighter weight down alternative. It's only 29 ounces of filling, which is gonna be pretty light for a down alternative comforter. Also because of that, you're gonna have less of a kind of like clammy feeling. When I was lying under this uh, for a whole night, actually with the heat kind of pumping on me, I felt some air flowing there because you're gonna have less filling in there. So if you are a hot sleeper, this could be a good match for you. Also, it's gonna have duvet tabs as well if you do wanna put it in a duvet cover. Okay, I've used the term duvet a couple times here. You're gonna see that pop up a lot when you're looking for a comforter. Some companies actually use the word comforter and duvet interchangeably. But if you wanna know more about the actual difference between these two, Google Matters Clarity, comforter versus duvet. Now I've mentioned some down alternative comforters in the other categories, but I wanna talk about my favorite down alternative comforter overall. That's gonna be the superior down alternative comforter. What's really nice about this is you get kind of a down comforter experience with none of the drawbacks. You have a cheaper price here, you have a baffle box construction, which you don't find a lot on a down alternative. This is gonna allow for some more loft with the filling there. It's also gonna be a heavier comforter overall, so you're gonna have some more fluff in there as well. Also it's hypoallergenic, less watery eyes and stuffy nose while you sleep. So that about does it for my down alternative picks. I wanna talk now about my favorite down comforter. That's the Egyptian Bedding Siberian Goose Down Comforter. What's nice about this is, for a lower price in the lower kind of 100 range, you're gonna get a really quality comforter. More that would probably be the price of 200 or 300. On the outside, you're gonna have Egyptian cotton. It's gonna be a 600 thread count, really nice soft feel to it. You're also gonna have a baffle box design. Again, it's gonna have more of a cube there, so you're gonna have more uh, room for loft. Also, 750 fill power, it's gonna be a high fill power. Basically, that means really high loft, this comforter. And honestly, lying under it, it's a very cloud-like experience. Definitely poofy and cloudy and really, really fluffy. Also, you're gonna have some breathability there as well, because it's a down comforter. You're gonna have that warmth, but also you're not gonna feel clammy and overheating while you sleep. 
That about does it for my list for my favorite down and down alternative comforters. Again, if you have any specific questions, want a personal recommendation, leave a comment below. If you're looking for a great mattress, pillows, or accessories to go with your comforter, definitely hit that subscribe button.